joining us now is Republican Congressman Mario diaz Balart. He is the co-sponsor of a bill that would keep dreamers in this country. Congressman, thanks so much for being here. So the clock is ticking. What's your plan? It's actually, there's a lot of us that have been working on this for a long time, Alison, and, and there's no secret what has to happen. In order to get, you know, you have both sides, uh, right and left, and they basically, one side says they want to deal with the folks that are here, the undocumented in a way that's permanent. The other side said, says, I have no problem with that as long as you do border security first. So there's no secret. You have to do both of them at the same time. You have to deal with border security and the individuals that you're dealing with. When we're talking about the dreamers, I think you have to do one step at a time. You have to get in order to make sure that, and we have to make sure that the dreamers can stay here permanently. And I agree with you that these are folks that frankly are Americans, except that they don't have the documents. In order to do that, we'll probably have to do some border security. This should not be that complicated, that controversial. Yes. It's the, those that say that you have to have all or nothing that for now over a decade have created this problem. So therefore, I think we can permanently solve the issue of the dreamers while getting some border security aspects. And I would hope that after we do that, we can then take the next step, which is deal with the rest of the broken immigration system and the rest of the folks who are here undocumented that deserve a way that they can earn a way to get right with the law. Look, when you spell it out, it sounds as if it should be simple. But you know the reality. I mean, for decades, for whatever reason, it hasn't been. So why hasn't this worked? Because it is a politically, it's a very difficult issue because emotionally there's nothing more emotional uh, of an issue out there. And also technically, let's not minimize the technical difficulties in some aspects of this. Now you know I've been involved with this for a long time and you know that we came exceedingly close. Uh, I believe it was last Congress, the Congress before that and then and then the circumstances beyond our control took over. Well, well, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. I just yes. want to stop you there because you did come in exceedingly close. And when you yes. say circumstances beyond your control, was it Eric Cantor's loss? I mean, was it just political fright that took over? As, yeah, as you know, we had, in essence, we had the votes. And then uh, Mr. Cantor lost a primary. And then just weeks after that, we had the crisis on the southern border with the uh, unaccompanied minors, 60,000 unaccompanied minors. It muddied the waters. It created additional difficulties in an area that's already, as you know, very difficult. Do I think there's a way to get, get this done? Yes. I think there's added pressure and added urgency to deal with the dreamers for obvious reasons. So I think we have an opportunity and a challenge. We have to get it done. Uh, and I think, you know, look, that's Congress's role. To, to do the difficult things. The easy thing is to avoid this issue, the politically easy thing. Yeah. I've never avoided it. I think we have to get it done, and I think there's a way forward. So do you think that in that way, it was good that President Trump kicked it over to Congress and is sort of forcing your hand? Well, look, I would have rather that, that that these folks were not subject to deportation. So, so you know, is it good? I would have rather that that was not the option. No, I would have supported, I support keeping the dreamers here and however we can do that. However. If that forces Congress to finally act, and we know the way forward, and it's going to have to be not everything, not one big bite, but smaller bites, border security and dealing with the dreamers, then hopefully we can do more. If this forces the issue, and then history will show that it would be a good thing. The key here is what? The key is Congress must act. We have to quit playing politics. We have to quit either saying, I want everything or nothing, or we're not willing to deal with these folks. We have to be reasonable. Yeah. It's going to have to be the center of Congress coming together, avoiding the extremes of both the right and the left, and with the help of the administration. Do I think this president wants to keep the dreamers here? Absolutely, I do. Do I think Congress can do this and we have a way forward? Yes. Is it going to be easy? Absolutely not. But what do you say to your most conservative colleagues, um, thinking of people like Congressman Steve King, who say, these are families who flouted the law. Maybe these children didn't. They came through no choice of their own, but their families flouted the law, and we're a nation of laws, and you can't reward them. There has to be consequences. Look, when you're dealing with the dreamers, you know what? One of the things that defines the United States of America is that we're a meritocracy. We don't judge an individual for what his parents, his grandparents, his friends did. We judge that individual for their actions. These individuals, these dreamers, have done absolutely nothing wrong. Let's judge them for what they did. I think the American people understand that. How do we get that done? How do we move forward? I think we have a way forward. It's not going to be easy, and it's going to require 
lowering the decibels, rolling up our sleeves, and again, most of us, uh, who I think, I think there's vast agreement that these dreamers deserve to be here. There's also vast agreement that the United States has the right, I will tell you the obligation, to protect our borders. We can't be the only country that can determine who comes in and who leaves. There's agreement on that. Well, let's put those things together and get this part done. If we can get this part done, which is a big lift, but I think it's possible, then I'm hopeful that we can eventually do even more. That would be great for our economy, for our national security, for the entire country. Congressman diaz Bellart, thank you for sharing your optimism on this with us this morning. Great to talk to you. Thank you, ma'am. Chris. All right.